In the China interference controversy, one question remains that it still hasn't been answered. That is, why is David Johnson, who is an unelected Canadian and a friend of Justin Trudeau, deciding whether there should be a public inquiry? Now, Johnson seems like a nice man, and I think he was well-liked when he was the Governor General, appointed by Stephen Harper. But he's a friend of Trudeau and his family. Now, I've known the Governor General since I was a kid, from visiting him and his daughters when he was principal at McGill, to spending time on the ice or the slopes at their uh, family home in the Laurentians. And I've always known him to be a man of strength, intelligence, and compassion. And he is now recommended against a public inquiry. And Justin Trudeau says he agrees with that. Well, that raises the perception of a conflict of interest. And while everybody's been talking about a conflict of interest faced by David Johnson, that's not the key issue. The issue is the conflict of interest or the apparent conflict of interest that Justin Trudeau created when he appointed his friend to look at this issue. The work has led him to conclude that, and I quote, the elections of 2019 and 2021 were well protected by sophisticated mechanisms and there is no basis to lack confidence in their results. Now, Johnson's view isn't shared by a number of important bodies and people. Under appropriate in-camera cautions. That said, I will break the nature of the threats identified to me by CSIS into four distinct categories of threats. Each of these threats were intended to discredit me, promote, promote false narratives about my policies, and to severely obstruct my work as a member of parliament and as leader of the official opposition. The numerous examples also demonstrate that there was an orchestrated campaign of foreign interference in the 43rd parliament and into the 2021 general election. First of all, the House of Commons has voted 172 to 149 in favor of a public inquiry. All the leaders of Canada's opposition parties, not just Pierre Polyev, all of them want a public inquiry. And there's been a series of public opinion polls, the most recent by the Angus Reid Institute, that shows that a majority of Canadians want a public inquiry. A majority of Canadians, according to that poll, also think that the Trudeau government is being evasive about its role in foreign interference. And of those who have decided, two to one oppose Trudeau's decision to give the job of investigating foreign interference to David Johnson. So why did Trudeau appoint David Johnson? Well, I think it's pretty obvious it was a distraction. Um, he was taking all the heat about not calling a public inquiry, so he appoints somebody else to make a decision on whether there's a public inquiry, and when the decision comes out, he doesn't want an inquiry. Um, <laughs> the, the Prime Minister says he won't overturn that decision. Well, no, 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 that's nonsense. He is the person who is objecting to and stopping a public inquiry. Not David Johnson. David Johnson's an advisor to Justin Trudeau, despite that title that he's an independent rapporteur. He doesn't make the decision. Justin Trudeau makes the decision. So keep in mind that Justin Trudeau is opposing the will of the House of Commons, all the opposition leaders who control a majority of seats in Parliament, and according to the polls, most Canadians. And I think there's a simple question that we should all be asking ourselves on this. Why is he doing that? I'm Laurie Goldstein of Sun Media. We're always interested in hearing your views, and please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our YouTube channel.